All right, guys, driving an AP2 car. Um, definitely worse than AP1. Here's an intersection for reference. Uh, pulls me around a little bit, jerks, bounces back to forth. Uh, definitely have my hands closer by this time. Not near as much confidence um, with this system. Um, one thing I did notice it does better, it seems to do better, when a car turns at an intersection and notices it and taps the brakes just in case. I don't know if that's a good thing, but uh, seems more attentive that way. Perhaps it's the longer range cameras a bit more effective. Um, but still, right now, the um, lane holding is, is a little discouraging. Um, I know a lot of people will say, post a video because we don't believe it. Um, it's all subjective, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to try to do my best to uh, post some different occurrences on the road here. And you can just see, um, that's something that never happens in an AP1 car, where it bounces around between the lines. And you can feel it. It feels kind of like I'm getting a little bit of seasick. It's not bad, but um, in an AP2 car, you go dead straight. And that's how you go. So um, if I come, come up with any other occurrences with AP2, I'll be sure to record it and post it. Okay, I'm entering one of my uh, famous test roads. Um, this is one I can take at 30 miles an hour with autopilot on, and I do it every day in my car. Um, don't know what's going to happen in the autopilot too. Wow, very slight curve, slowed me down six miles per hour. I normally breeze through at 30. That's interesting, okay. Like I said, I've never done this with an AP2, so this is the first time. Another very slight curve. Drops me down, oh, five miles an hour, and the person behind me is getting frustrated. Oops, sorry, sir. Oh, this corner here, oh, wow. Down the 24, 23, and the wheel's twitching. Guy behind me is very angry. <laughs> it made it around the corner. Um, in an AP2 Model S, I driven down here, it failed there at one point. Um, it just drove across those yellow lines. Anyway, stuck back to 30. Okay, taking this corner okay. Here's the next one is gonna be an interesting one. The wheel's twitching, doesn't know what to do. Slowed down two miles an hour. Guy behind me turned off, thankfully. Um, all right, coming up here. Doing not too bad. Oh, really slamming the brake hard because it's all these orange cones. And then I'll cancel. Okay, so here we are just sitting in the parking lot. This AP2 Loner Model X that I have. And uh, here's what's happening. The lane markers are jumping around. You can probably see that I'm not, uh, even though I'm centered in my spot, it's a different layout to the spot in front of me. And uh, even though I'm in park, not even in drive, the car's going nuts. Bouncing all over the place. Um, see if I put it in drive if anything else happens. Yeah, in drive now. Same stuff. Wow. I should also mention, this is a fairly recent release. If it'll focus. There we go. Um, I, if not the most recent release as of the 2nd of August, 8-2-2017. So um, I'll give some more feedback here in just a minute. Okay, so I'm coming up on um, the tight test road that I've taken several times in the past. First corner is a 35. Just slammed on the brake immediately before it even read the sign, but that's okay. Uh, bring me down the 40 max, um, keeping me just under, which AP1 car I drive keeps me at 40 here. Now, the one coming up is the two corners that slow down to 25 miles per hour each. Um, this would normally slow me down to around 29 miles per hour, maybe in the corners. And you can see it's really, really slamming it. 24, 25, okay. Next one's even tougher. I'm afraid it may run me off the road. Let's just take a look here. Uh, yep, I'm right over the yellow line. Slow down to, oh, 18 miles an hour. <laughs> This is where my car will slow down, still over the line. Getting, come on, back center just now. Anyway, that's where I'm normally about 28 miles an hour. So in a full 10 miles per hour slower around that corner than in my car. 
Um, so definitely much more cautious, a little scarier to drive. Then again, I'm not using it the way it's supposed to be used either, granted. I'm driving it on a, whoops. So the road broke back there, uh, the lines broke, I should say. Um, and it jerked the wheel to the left really hard, so I just disengaged. I'm gonna be testing here in just a second is the auto lane change, which I think has improved a little bit, even on our lower speed roads, not just the highways. Um, just trying out earlier on the way back to work from Tesla. Um, yeah, I got a loaner right now because I'm getting two axles replaced in the front of my P90D. Early then rattles like crazy at around 30 something miles an hour. Um, not good. More on that in a different video. Okay, stop and go traffic is much better in this um, updated version. Um, bear in mind, I've driven this exact um, car in an earlier visit I had to Tesla. So the stop and go traffic is much smoother. That is definitely an improvement. Um, it's actually just like AP1, um, if not a little more responsive when the car in front of me takes off, which is a benefit actually. So I'm not lagging behind and people jumping in front of me. Okay, another thing I should have mentioned before is distinctly different from AP1 is down here. I can see the one car in front of me. Uh, whereas on my car, I would have cars surrounding the car in front of me because you can see all the cars. So I don't know if the radar on this AP2 hardware is up to par, up to spec with um, what the mobile eye system had, um, judging on what it, kind of data is showing me anyway. And maybe that's uh, maybe that's coming soon. Okay, time for the lane change test. Get this going here. Set the 40. Uh, blinker on. Hmm. Nothing. Not changing. Nothing's happening. Blinker stuck on. So that's not working yet. Um, certainly at lower speeds I don't know what speed it starts working uh, maybe 55 miles per hour but uh, that's an observation I should clarify um, I can usually change lanes down to 25 miles an hour maybe even less in stop and go traffic even um, so that's why I'm a little shocked that it's not changing at 40 miles an hour on a completely empty road with very well marked lines they were painted last week. Um, that's an AP2 feature. Alright, another thing I'm going to say, um, the cameras clearly are not picking up um, the speed limit signs. They're simply using GPS um, based data, um, which is incorrect in a lot of areas. I was just driving down a 50 mile an hour road to show that I was supposed to be going 45. Um, it still said I was supposed to be going 45 and when it dropped down to the 35 zone um, and then back to the lane change at 55 there was no lane change which also makes me believe that it's GPS based as well and will only perform when on the highway so that's just an interesting note on this uh, as well okay coming back through my tightest test road um, drops down the 25 in the corners coming the opposite way traffic coming the other way as well see how it performs it's running me right off to the edge of the line going eh, 21 miles per hour <laughs> um, very 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 cautious hugging the right lane okay this next corner 25 as well okay Oop, going over the yellow line slowing down the 23 22 um, okay very cautious, still a little on the left, and then just back to center. So that's that.